Hello everybody, Derek here from Addictive Tips. In this video here, we will be talking about how you can install the Plata GTK theme. So to start off, you'll need to open up a terminal. And uh, once you've got it open, you've got to install the dependencies for your operating system. And we do that like so. Now we can scroll down here. And uh, There's quite a few dependencies, and this is because you're building the operating, excuse me, you're building the theme on your operating system, so. For some reason, the developer of this theme doesn't have just an easy set of theme files, so you gotta do it yourself, and sometimes that happens, but it's not a big deal. And uh, now that our dependencies are set up, we can download the code from GitLab. Move into the folder. Run ls, just to make sure everything is there. Then we need to build, and we build with the autogen script. From there, we can do what the script says or what my article also says. Type in make, and that's going to build our theme from the source code. By the way, don't worry about those failed messages. That's just uh, nothing to worry about. I will say though that it's going to take a bit to render all of these files. It's rendering every single one and uh, making them through your parsing mechanism and the parsing mechanism it uses I think is Inkscape. Yep, Inkscape. So depending on your computer, rendering assets may take longer than it should, but uh, it will get there. Now that everything is done rendering, we can install it with sudo make install. And now, we can activate the theme by opening up tweaks right here. And uh, go to applications and select your theme. Now, I showed you how to do this on GNOME because you know a lot of people use GNOME, but if you want to use this on other desktop environments, you can go ahead, and the information about that is in the description of this video. But this is how you enable the Plata theme on Linux. It's a pretty nice looking theme, I like it. Uh, built from scratch, and that's how, it all, that's how we got it all working. Anyways guys, hope you enjoyed this video. I will see you in the next one.